Wednesday. G'day everyone, it's Mark Sundon here from Expedition Kayaks in Sydney. Another one of our product reviews. Uh, this one is in a boat, so you know, forget about your cup of tea in 20 minutes. Hopefully I'll have this one rattled off pretty quickly. Um, it's uh, a little tale about uh, our good mates at Outwear in Tasmania. We've been working together with David Barlow who runs Outwear, has begun a company down there to make top shelf outdoor gear aimed at paddlers and, and a couple of other sports. Um, we've designed a couple of bits and pieces with him and now we have a bit of a range. So I thought I'd take five minutes, run you through them, show you a couple of the features and uh, you know, hopefully next time you're in the market for one of these types of things, you'll consider one of our outwear products. A little bit of history, uh, David himself is a, a, a bit of a character. <laughs> Won't mind me saying that, Dave. Um, he's got a long and distinguished history in outdoor sports. He's paddling an Audax up and down the beautiful waterways of Tasmania like a demon with his uh, Tasmanian sea canoeist mates. Um, as an adventure racer, a whitewater paddler, he's been traveling the world doing cool things for many years. He's headed down to Tassie and with a background in really good quality adventure rescue gear as a sewer of the stuff and a designer of the stuff, he decided to start out where to, to give uh, people like us um, an Australian made option for top quality kit. So again, hopefully only a couple of minutes, I'll run you through a couple of the products uh, and hope you, hope you enjoy watching. Thank you. So first up is this uh, deck bag. Um, it's a, it's a, not a new idea. We've, we've sold products like this from, uh, from people around the world over the years. Um, NRS have got a nice one. North Water have had a really popular one that we've sold for many years. Um, where this one is a little different, it's slightly bigger. It's got a gusset that allows you to fit a little bit more stuff in it. And really importantly, the webbing strap and these tensioners here, they allow you to fix it to any set of deck lines without having to tie knots um, quick and easily and very secure. You know, the, the golden rule with storing stuff on your deck is that uh, there isn't really anything that's going to stop that particular wave on that particular day from stripping it clean and, and turning all your gear into a big floating garage sale. But this is about as secure as a, a way of, of, of fitting it to your boat that we've seen. Beautifully made, you know, Dave's background sewing some, 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 some good quality gear shows through. It's got some nice features other than the tethering system. Um, that base is a 650 gram PVC, which won't scratch your boat. Um, it's really strong, it's durable, it's UV safe. This is a 450 gram mesh, um, which is rock proof. Um, again, UV stable. Uh, you know, not, not, not something that, um, that it's gonna fail you, tear under, under duress. Um, the lash tabs are a different color, so you can see them. Um, seems like a funny small detail, but uh, things like spray decks here, this beautiful spray deck made by electric water, it has a different colored uh, release strap. So, you can see the bloody thing. I mean, that's kind of important. Um, it's got a big gusset, so there's my VHF radio. I can easily get that in there and tuck towards the front, chuck in my tracker. If you like me, goose, muesli bars, anything you might need for the day, it secures with this Velcro strap over the top. You can lift it up and get it out easily enough while you're on the water. Uh, and it's got very low windage, it's low profile, it's all those good things. I've seen deck bags, I think there's one called the Taj Mahal. Now man, it looks like the Taj Mahal and it feels like the Taj Mahal when the wind gets hold of it. Not that I'm really all that au fait with how the Taj Mahal goes when the wind gets hold of it, the actual building, but you get my idea. So if the surf ski guys and girls have got this far, which is highly unlikely considering this does appear to be more of a sea kayaking uh, review, um, one nice little feature of this bag is that it fits perfectly onto the back bungee section of most of the big brand surf skis that have these bungee cords. 
I never really understood what they were there for, to be honest. They're, they're pretty useless. Um, but pop that bag on there, and all of a sudden you've got a viable storage area, nice and low, for any number of emergency um, bits of gear, goose, muesli bars, your phone, you know. Um, and again, low profile, low down, isn't going to destabilise you too much. Um, so it's a pretty versatile product. It's not just about about sea kayaks. It's actually something that is uh, very much applicable to surf skis. Here's the second of our outwear products. It's currently sitting on the shelf. Um, we've been selling them now for a couple of months. Really popular. People who've got them have been really pleased with them. It's a spare paddle bag. The idea that it slots on your back deck in order to secure your spare paddle. It's a, a, a drainable mesh bag really nicely finished again secured with a, a strong webbing strap and a tensioner so you don't need to tie it down or shove it under your bungee cords it's got a lovely quality velcro release your paddle will come clear quickly and easily if you need to get at it on the water um, and also it's it's not a bad option as a, a paddle carry bag for when you uh, when you finish your paddle and you want to get your, your paddle home your spare paddle home in the car without banging it around so that's $99 available from our online store finally one of the great advantages of, of having a local manufacturer someone you can ask to customize do some reasonably small runs have things made in your club colors if you wanted to have them done um, here's a couple of examples of some customised products that Outwear have, been, have made for us. Um, this is a paddle bag. Again, nothing, nothing revolutionary about it, except that it's made from the same 650 gram vinyl in some cool colours. It's got a little clear label for your name or one application was for people who are doing adventure races. They're able to have, have contact details and things in there for when they leave them at transitions a shoulder carry strap. Now there are paddle bags around, you know, heaps of paddle bags around actually. They're usually between about 70 and 100 bucks. Hardly any of them are made here. This one is and can be done in your colors. Uh, it's a beautiful bit of gear. This one began its life as a beer bag because <laughs> it kind of fits six pack. However, um, Dave using it in Tassie for his uh, two and three day trips that he's been doing down around the southeast and Tasman Peninsula and cool places, realised that it's waterproof enough to be used as an outer bag for his dry bags or even for popping in a bunch of stuff that doesn't actually need to be waterproof, doubles as a carry bag and it means your entire load is an easy thing to shift around and carry um, when you're unpacking at the end of the day. Um, or as a day bag in your kayak that fits in your hatches. It's designed to fit in the back hatch of the Yordax here uh, because that's what Dave, Dave paddles. Um, I thought, gee, that's an expensive IKEA bag, but it's not. It's a, it's a really good bag. Rob took one down to the National Park uh, last week and came back and said, actually, mate, that's a really handy thing to have. Um, as you can see, these guys are colour coordinated. If you wanted them done in a certain set of colours that can be done without too much drama. Um, $79, really unique paddle related product um, and typical of the kind of customisation that Outwear can do. So we're pretty committed to making good products here in Australia. We're, we're, those, those of you who know us, we're in a pretty small niche right at the top end of things. You know, we're, we're not generally known for having generic products that are in the mire of mass-produced, imported, sort of cheap stuff, cheerful junk, I like to call it. Um, we now have over 40 products in our range that are made in Australia, all the way from the Audax you see here, Electric Water's beautiful spray decks, Outwear's great gear, Flat Earth sales, the list goes on. We work with local artisans on ideas, it's all about the design and, and then, you know, the lovely knowledge that we're putting money back into the country, um, keeping people who are capable of making things that enhance our sport in business. Uh, you should never buy something just because it's made in Australia. I reckon that jingoism is a bit sort of misaligned. However, we hope products like Outwear will make you think 
when you're next in the market for the types of things that, uh, that, that they, they manufacture. Thanks for watching, hope it was a short one. See you again soon.